G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, we want to introduce you to the ringtail possum. And in particular, we want to talk about why the ringtail possum has evolved to have to eat its own poo. So stick around, guys. It's pretty dangerous. So this little tacker's name is Peter and is what we in Australia call a common ringtail possum. He's got a fair bit of growing left to do, but essentially these guys live all the way up the east coast of Australia and they're what we call folivores, which essentially means they eat leaves. Now, prior to uh, Europeans bringing all these nice roses and stone fruits and things to Australia, it meant they had to live off this stuff, eucalyptus. But the issue is eucalyptus is a pretty crappy food to eat. There's not many animals that can live off it. In fact, you've only got the ringtail possum, the greater glider and the koala. And the reason why eucalyptus is such a poor food is it's really, really low in energy. The story that koalas are drunk on eucalyptus uh, is a bit of a myth. If you could get drunk on eucalyptus, there wouldn't be so many pubs in Australia. It's just because there's so little energy that they can't have the energy to do much. Ringtail possums, on the other hand, have evolved a cool little trick to be able to get around this very low nutrient diet. And what they do is they've evolved what we call coprophagia. It basically means they eat their own droppings. Now, they don't eat all their droppings. What they do is, let's say little Peter here was a wild possum cruising around the bush. He'd go and he'd eat all the really nice tippy gum leaves, just the really soft ones on each end. And uh, he'll spend his whole night doing that. Now, as he gets home, he'll spend his daytime in what we call a dray, which is kind of like two bird's nests, one on top of the other. During the day, while he's sleeping, he'll be waking up at intervals and eating his own droppings. And what this essentially means is those gum leaves do two laps of his digestive system. Essentially, it means that he's got two attempts to get every last little bit of energy out of those gum leaves. Now, koalas, they don't do this. It only does one lap of their system, but they haven't exactly got away with it either. Koalas also display coprophagia, but in a different way. Koalas rely really heavily on this sort of specialized gut bacteria, little, little bugs that live inside their stomachs to help break down the eucalyptus. And the only way to get that is to eat their mother's poo. So if you're eating gum leaves, you're eating your own droppings like our ringtail possum, or you're eating mum's droppings like our poor koala. So these guys might have a bad reputation for raiding mum and dad's rose bushes, but when you realize that eating their native prey essentially means they've got to eat their own droppings, you can hardly blame them. It's kind of like turning down Snickers bars when you could eat Brussels sprouts. I don't blame them at all. Why wouldn't you want roses when you've only got gum leaves to compare it with? Now, I hope you found that interesting. And as always, guys, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button on YouTube or like us on Facebook, wherever you're watching us. And if you want to become involved with Wicked Wildlife and help our videos keep churning out where you can learn more fun and interesting facts about our Australian wildlife, please check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Wicked Wildlife, where your contribution can help our videos come out more regularly and we can visit more people and get more animals out to you guys. And that's what it's all about, spreading our passion for wildlife and getting the wildlife message out there. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.